Hey guys, I've gotten a ton of requests on a knife skill video. So without further ado, here is the first of probably a couple knife skills videos. So before I get started, I'm gonna do a couple different vegetables in here. I'm gonna do some onions, tomatoes, sweet potato, a butternut squash, I think that's it. So I know people may not wanna watch all of those being chopped, so I'm gonna link below the kind of the corresponding time with the corresponding vegetables. So you can just jump forward if you wanna see the butternut squash or if you wanna see the onions. So first, let's start with the onions. So there's three different ways that you can cut an onion. You can do just like a regular dice, you can do a slice, or you could do a mince. And so I wanted to show you all three of those variations. The first one I'm gonna show you is how to dice an onion. So it's important to know the structure of the onion. So the roots, the roots would grow down from here and then the stalk would grow up from here. So first step in dicing an onion is we're gonna take off that stock end. So just cut it across. And then you can just toss this. And then we're gonna cut it in half from the root. You're gonna to wanna to peel the outside of the onion. So you're left with kind of like a half dome. Okay, so I've got two, my two halves. The next is one of the important things for like whenever you're cutting something is how you have your hands. Because you have a sharp knife, you can easily just kind of chop off your fingers. And I have chopped off my fingers before it stinks. You don't want to do it. But you want to make something like a claw. That's what they call it, the claw. And you want to grip, you want to grip the onion with a claw. That way if you cut, you're just going to kind of like skim the top of your finger rather than like chopping it all off. I know it's gross, but we needed to get that out of the way because we are using a sharp knife. So I've got my half of my onion. I'm gonna take the knife and just with my hand flat, go through it horizontally. And you wanna keep the root stem intact. That way, kind of all of the onion pieces won't go flying everywhere. It also just makes it really easy to cut. So I've got the onion, kind of like different levels cut out in there. And we're gonna flip it and we're gonna cut it this way kind of all the time using that claw. We've got kind of like an accordion maybe almost, so we cut it horizontally and then we cut it vertically. And, and now we're gonna cut it into a dice. And then when you get to that root end, you don't have to cut it anymore. You can just toss that little piece aside. So that is how to dice an onion. So there we go, perfectly diced onion. So next I wanted to show you how to like thinly slice an onion. So same thing as the dice, we're gonna take off the stock part and then we're gonna cut it in half and remove that outside layer. And then unlike the dice, we're actually gonna take off the root end as well. And then starting with this side, not this side, but do this side, and then we're just gonna cut from there. And then when you get to this kind of like last little bit of onion, when your fingers kind of can't grip anymore, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over and then continue cutting there. And there you have it. You have to this like small, perfectly sliced onions which is perfect for kind of like topping a salad or making pickled red onions, which is my favorite. And then next, let's mince an onion. So same thing, we're gonna take off the stock end, cut it in half, peel it. We peeled it, cut this in half, and then you see it's kind of like, looks well, like a triangle. We're gonna to wanna to kind of cut off the top of the triangle and then we can mince it from there. So you can just kind of like take your knife and go in there and cut them out. Half dome shape without the bottom triangle. We're gonna go through just right on top. And then mince it from here. And then you have really, really small mints 
of an onion. Okay, next on the vegetables are Roma tomatoes. This is gonna be like a tutorial for when you wanna make salsa really quickly and you wanna cut these bad boys for your salsa. So Roma tomato, cut in half, then cut in fourths. And then you're gonna take one of these sections with your knife and just carefully remove the insides. So we have these pieces without the inside and then we can go ahead and just dice these. So still maintaining that little claw position Cut it lengthwise and then crosswise. And there you have kind of like this perfect diced tomato that's great for salsa. Okay, next on the list, and this might actually be the most requested, is a butternut squash. Because it's huge and it's a little awkward and it's just like really hard to cut. So, I've got one butternut squash. I'm gonna peel it first. This is my favorite peeler. It's like a Y peeler, I'll link it below. But it just makes peeling so much easier. So I've got my peeled butternut squash. The most important thing when peeling kind of big squashes like this, or sweet potatoes or potatoes, is making sure you have a flat surface. And if you look at a butternut squash, it's not really like a flat surface. I mean, maybe the bottom, but you can't guarantee that. So the way to create a flat surface, especially on a butternut squash, is to cut it in half. So we're carefully gonna cut it into two pieces. So using your knife and a flat hand, so your fingers don't get in the way, just cut straight down through the neck. So that way you have two pieces, you also have some flat pieces. And then we're also gonna take off the top part. as well as the bottom part, just to make things as flat as possible on all sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and start to dice this. So since we have a flat surface, we're gonna cut straight down and make like planks out of this top part. So we have a bunch of planks and then we just kind of start to chop them. You can do two at a time or just do one each. But do lengthwise and then crosswise. And you can obviously make this dice bigger or smaller, kind of whatever your recipe calls for. So you have a perfectly diced butternut squash. So you continue with the rest of the pieces. And then to do the bottom half, because there are seeds in there, we're gonna take our knife and carefully cut down the middle. and then we can scoop out the seeds and then dice it from there. So you can take off this part and just cut it like we did with the top half of the butternut squash. But for the bottom part, you're not gonna be, it's not gonna be quite as perfect of a dice. So you can just cut it into slices and then cut it from there. There you go, that is how you cut a butternut squash. So last but not least, let me show you how to cut a sweet potato. It's pretty similar to the butternut squash, but I wanted to show you anyway. So we're gonna create a flat surface, just really carefully. And then, since we have a flat surface, we're gonna cut across into planks, just like the butternut squash. Okay, we have these planks of our sweet potatoes and then we're just gonna cut lengthwise and then cut it crosswise. Super easy, you get kind of like a uniform dice of sweet potato. So there you have it. There is the first installment of hopefully many knife skills videos. If you have a specific request and you wanna see a fruit or vegetable cut, leave it in the comments below. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit subscribe because I upload new recipe videos each week.